what's up you guys what's happening this is something i think i might start doing just going over rule shark fails now a rule shark for someone who doesn't know it's someone who's very aggressive in their need to correct someone's ruling like if you get a ruling wrong you're gonna have a ton of people correcting you anyway i think a rule shark is just someone who sets out to correct people just for the sake of being correct like they have some kind of self-validation problems now here's the thing, I don't do this, like I wouldn't do this if it's just someone who disagrees with me. I wouldn't really have fun at someone's expense if it's just a simple misunderstanding. But this is, uh, you know, a whole nother level here. We're talking about not just correcting someone on a ruling that they think they have right, but also being a condescending jerk, you know? It's not just that you're correcting or you think you're correcting someone. It's that you think you're better than someone and that's why you need to correct them. So there's this person, I'm just going to block out their name just because, uh, you know, I don't want to be accused of harassing anyone or sending them harassment. And even if you did, no, it's just an internet username. When a card reads, when you cast this spell, that is referring to the resolution of the spell. So how it works is you tap mana for a spell. Your spell enters the stack. If there is no response to the spell, then it resolves. If there is a response, then it takes priority on the stack repeat this process. So say you play this and someone counters it, here's how that would look. You tap 7 Swamp for Skullstorm, and it enters the stack. Your opponent in response taps 3 mana for Counterspell and it enters the stack as a priority. Counterspell actually targets Skullstorm in the stack, and it never resolves, therefore never creating copies. Sorry if this is a rude awakening to anyone but don't go to any official tourneys with a deck built on misconceptions like this. So pretty much everything here is wrong, and I'm just gonna go over it from the very beginning. When you cast a spell that is referring to the resolution of the spell, no, that is just not right at all. When you cast a spell, there are triggers just like with every other triggered ability. There's a wording that says when, at, you know, when something happens, then you get this. So what happens when you cast a spell and it has a cast trigger like with Skullstorm, Let's just use that because that's the card in question here. There is a trigger that goes on the stack, and that trigger is a copy for Skullstorm, or copies depending on how many times you've cast a commander. So it could be one, it could be three, you get the point. Those are on the stack. So if your opponent were to counterspell it, the counterspell, you're right, it would go on the stack, but it would only be targeting Skullstorm, the actual card. To really help you out with this, just think about the Eldrazi. Think about how awful they would be if you got no value out of them if they could just be counterspelled by a two mana counterspell. And let's say you pay, I don't know, 10, 11 mana, I don't remember exactly how much something like Kozilek or Ulamog are, but they're around that range. You wouldn't be able to draw four cards with Kozilek, you wouldn't be able to destroy anything with Ulamog. That would be awful. They wouldn't be nearly as reliable. But those are really the best examples of cast trigger cards outside of storm cards. There's also Prosh Sky Raider of Care, another great cast trigger. You get the Cobalt Tokens no matter what. If it's countered, you still get those Cobalt Tokens. Because whenever it says cast, that's an ability, that's a trigger on the stack. So you would need something, in order to counter all of those, you would need something that can counter all spells and abilities. And it would have to say that. So counter each spell, counter each ability. That way you get to counter all of it. It's also worth pointing out real quick that if you counter the trigger that copies the spells, I mean, you would still have to deal with the original spell being cast you would then effectively counter it's just like with Storm and only have to deal with the original spell. So this person was never really right. And then they go on to act all condescending. This is why I wouldn't do this for other people who are just disagreeing. I get a ton of comments every single day, just people who are wrong, but they're not doing it in a way that's, you know, condescending. They're not being a jerk about it. This person was kind of being a jerk about it. Like, you guys are just beneath me. Don't even go to a tournament if you think like this. Which, by the way, I don't know how many official tournaments there are for commander play. It's not exactly like Legacy or Modern. That would take forever. Which kind of goes to show this person's lack of knowledge on the game altogether. And on top of that, they don't even get the mana costs right. So Skullstorm is 9 mana. It's not 7. So, sorry if this is a rude awakening for you, dude, but uh, you were wrong. Please don't do this if you have a disagreement with me or anyone else in my comment section. Don't act like a jerk. If you act like a jerk, you can't be surprised when someone treats you like a jerk. So I hope you had fun watching this, uh, <laughs> this rule shark fail. I gotta have more of these in my comment section. It's just I have so many videos, so many people commenting. Not all of them are nice. So from now on, I'll probably just take screenshots of whenever someone is uh, kind of like this. They're so wrong, but they're so confident in themselves just trying to you know, put someone else down, make themselves feel better. 
Anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day. I will see you all next time.